Hello and welcome to Studio 122. I'm your host, Ian Lucas, here on the campus of Texas A&M Commerce. Today I'm here with Waylon Atkins and he's going to tell us a little bit about the crawfish boil. Waylon is a member of the Pike Fraternity as well as the president of the uh, Inter-Fraternity Council. Waylon, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. How long have you been with Pike? I've been an active member since fall of 2014. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Who came up with the whole idea for the crawfish boil? Um, well, this is our crawfish has been around here for about 21 years now. This will be the 21st year. Uh, some alumni came together because they used to help run the Special Olympics over in Greenville, and they wanted to do something bigger and better because they only raised a few hundred dollars doing that. Now, uh, how they said this has been a tradition for about 21 years now. Yes, sir, about 21 years. A good deal. Now, this is for a really good cause. Tell us a little bit about the Taylor Trudeau Foundation. So Taylor Trudeau was a Pike member at the University of New Hampshire, the Gamma Mu chapter, and he he lost a year-long battle with leukemia. And his brothers and his parents and his local chapter started the Taylor Trudeau Foundation. At first, it was just raising it was just his chapter and his parents uh, raising money um, for blood cancer research, melanoma, lymphoma, and leukemia. And after a while, that since it's a brother, the Pike Nationals got it. They heard they heard that story, and made it a na our national philanthropy. So now Pike hunters of chapters across the nation, and including Canada, all support this cause. So I guess you just answered my next question. How did the <laughs> Pike found it, uh, the Pike organization come in contact with the Taylor Trudeau? This is a this is obviously I guess a nationwide thing now, mm -hmm. as far as um, Pike as an organization being associated with philanthropy in mm. that aspect. What are the things you all participate in as far as philanthropy goes? Well, so this event, uh, the crawfish is in the spring. In the fall, we host our fireman's challenge, or fireman's ball, same thing, uh, where we host a week-long events where female teams come out and participate in mud volleyball, obstacle races, uh, like minute to win it games, and the Team registrations is where we get the money that we donate to the local commerce fire department. Cool. And did y'all? Uh, how did you? How did the whole fire thing come about? Did y'all? Do you have another Pike member that happens to be a firefighter? Or how did that all work out? Well, yes, but Pikes nationally, uh, you'll see they partner up with fire departments a lot. Uh, we always take pictures with fire fire trucks, fire department. Uh, just the values that we associate with firemen, or as well as other, uh, you know, law enforcement service members. Just that type of service, we really hold those values we hold near and dear to our heart. So, uh, firemen, we we host some national Pike chapters. We host a lot of events with fire departments. Cool. Do y'all think that there will be some firefighters out at this event on uh, April 29th? Oh, definitely. Uh, we, I was special events chair for the last year. And I'm, I'm good buddies with several of the men on the fire department. They always come out. Good deal, good deal. How, how, how many times have you attended this crawfish boil? Crawfish, this will be my third one. This will be my third crawfish. Perfect. Uh, this, the, uh, this office is going to be a pretty big turnout being the 21st anniversary. Mm -hmm. uh, how much crawfish did y'all have to get for this event? We're doing about 1,000 pounds this year. Last year we did about 1,200. Uh, we had a little bit less left over last year, about, about 100 pounds, so we sold it. Well, now we just sold that last 100 pounds. Uh, we, it's a, it's a pretty big event, f especially for a small, uh, small organization or a small school. We had a, over a thousand people come out last year. Wow, that's a, yeah. that's a pretty good turnout. Mm -hmm. And not only do y'all have, you know, great food. There's going to be crawfish, hamburgers, hot dogs, things yep. like that. But y'all also have some live music. Tell us a little bit about mm -hmm. that. Uh, some of the bands that we're having this year are Caden Hudson. There are a couple students here. We also are having the Muddy River Band. They played at the Commerce with Drunken Mule down here. And uh, a band from my hometown, the Marfa Lights. Um, we really lo we love the small hometown bands. We're trying to get help get their name out there, too. Um, we it's The music that we usually play is more like country western, you know, something that you can dance to. What? Yeah. What has it been like trying to get uh, everything in line and prepared for this uh, for this event? Oh, this! Whenever I was in charge of this event, it was lovely. It <laughs> was wonderful. Hard lots work. of yes, lots of hard work. Lots long of long hours. Long hours, and 
uh, lots of delegating, small tasks, uh, lots of micromanagement. And, you, and that's something that you definitely have a hand in as far as making sure everything goes right. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a perfectionist, so if I like, have to like something I get done, I'm just gonna do it myself. Perfect. Now, this is taking place on April 29th. April 29th is uh, a Saturday. Yep. Let, let us know something like where is this gonna be held at? Uh, this is gonna be held at Pikeland, which is, Pikeland doesn't have a physical address, but it's out by the dealership, you know, like right next to the Commerce Vet Clinic. Uh, this is where we host all of our big events, this is where we host Fireman's Challenge. Uh, if you go to Texas A&M Commerce, you probably know where Pikeland is. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Uh, tell us more about like where we can find tickets and uh, maybe some merchandise to go along with this event. Yeah, so tickets every Monday uh, from 11 to 3 in the Student Center till then, we'll be selling tickets for pre-sale, uh, $15. At the gate, they will be 25 mm -hmm. uh, Any other day that's not pre-sale, they're 20 So try to get them as soon as you can. Other than that, uh, we will have t-shirts for sale within the next week or two. Uh, so other merchandise, we also have koozies. Koozies and t-shirts will also be sold at the event. Once again, this is going to be the uh, Pike Crawfish Boil on April 29th. At what time? What time is this all taking place? Gates open at 12. Uh, food starts serving at 2. Perfect. Well, Waylon, we appreciate you having us Thank out. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. This is Studio 122. I'm your host, Ian Lucas.